My last holiday, I was in Taiwan. I was in a very nice hotel. I had a lot of fun and really enjoyed my time there. Until I met Bing. My holiday turned into a hell. Bing was walking down the street carrying a massive suitcase, which was literally bigger than hers. Small hands were too weak to handle the weight, and she was bradley green. She had a ripped t-shirt, trousers, and she was thirsty. I followed her. I'd never seen such thing in my life. Through the streets of luxury, being that me into the streets of reality. The streets were full of little children. Not running around the same working. They were all around ten years old, yet they started more than me. More than you. Some were carrying cotton into a massive workout, some were soon and others making things. Their hands were too small and they left for for the hard work they had to do. I watched them from the corner and waited for them. But they had a great job. I waited for them. Okay. Now we're gonna check the Jungmann Schule and see what we can find. So follow us. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> okay, so next to me is uh, Master Gillis. He's one of our teachers and we have a few qu questions for him. So first of all, do you buy some clothes at H&M? And yes, why? Um, <laughs> that's, those are two questions. Right. Um, <laughs> so to answer your first question, um, sometimes I do, but very seldomly. And I do so because they're cheap. Okay, yeah. And um, do you know about mm -hmm. uh, child labor and uh, how do you feel about it? <laughs> Those are two, two, two questions again. I did. <laughs> okay, one, one so, question. yeah, I know that they use child labor and how do I feel about that? Um, moderately sad. <laughs> <laughs> sad or you just don't think about it? I just don't think about it. Right. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. That, that was the interview. Yeah, that's it. That was a crap interview. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so now we are in the art room of the school. We're going to check a few products where it's made. For example, this glue is it is made in Germany, so that's very good. Um, like this one, it's also made in Germany. So Germany made a lot of um, products, and that's very good. So keep straight on, Germany. <laughs> now we are in front of the teacher okay. room, and they gave us um, the coffee they drink. It's um, from Germany, Markus Coffee. So, yeah, it's not fair trade coffee, but they told us that they want to um, change the coffee into fair trade coffee. So, we will see um, what they are going to do in, f in the future. Okay. okay, so I'm standing next to the sweaters of the Jungmann Schule. I'm gonna watch where it's made. And. <coughs> It is made in Syria, so that isn't actually very good. So and now we are coming <laughs> to the electronics room. You can see there are many chargers and electronic things. And for example, this one is made in China. You can see it. Made in China. And the other things also. <laughs> okay, now we are standing in front of the paper copy room and 
as you can see, the paper is made in Europe. It's the EU Echo label. And yes, it's not from Germany, it's made in EU. <laughs> okay. So now we are in front of the cafeteria and they just showed us the kitchen and told us that about 99% of all the food and products in the kitchen is made in Germany. So that's very good. Um, the other one to two percent is made in the rest of the world. So great two job. Two test persons, Antonia and Julia, and we want to look in the um, in the clothes where is it produced. Here, for example, it's made in China. And in her clothes, it's also made in China. So you can see, most uh, almost uh, every clothes is made in China. Now Sophie and me, we are checking our clothes. Sophie's uh, t-shirt is, for example, from Abby Crumbie Put, but it's made in the Philippines. And Afinia's um, um, dress is made in, in Turkey. So, you bad job, guys. Yannick, <laughs> we want to talk about H&M. Yannick, what do you think about H&M? Do you buy your clothes there? Uh, yes, I think uh, the clothes have a very good quality and they uh, are also cheap and they have a nice style so they are like the clothes by um, Jack and Jones or something like that so yeah, I like them and they are cheap. Yeah, okay, but uh, did you ever, have you ever heard of um, child labor and uh, where it is produced, for example in China or in Turkey? Yes, I have also um, heard about that and I um, really don't want to support them, but um, often I think, and for most families, maybe not for me, but maybe to for other families, it's um, um, difficult to buy their clothes somewhere else because they are uh, they are not as cheap as they are at H and M. And yeah, so and when I only have wait, maybe 20 or 30 euros, and I'm in the city, and I want to have a um, Yes, a truck, yeah, or jeans or something like that. that. Then I go to H and M because it's the cheapest. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. And I have a few questions no to you about H and M. First, um, do you buy your clothes at H and M, and why? If yes. Uh, yeah. Sometimes I buy clothes uh, by H and M because they are um, they are really cheap and it's easy to find something I like and. You can wear this all the time. Yeah, and the clothes is very modern. Yes. Yeah. And uh, have you ever heard about child labor? So, and um, the clothes is produced in uh, China or in Bangladesh. What do you think about that? Uh, yeah, I heard about that, but I think that um, when I buy the clothes or when I see a nice T-shirt, I re really don't think about that at the moment, and I think that's bad because. Um, you have to uh, think about that often. And <laughs> so you want to change something? Um, yes, but I'm. I will buy clothes by heart. Um, okay. Okay. Uh, by tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. Um. Yeah. That's right. But um, maybe you will come with us if we want to. Um, show the people that H&M is bad because of child labor, maybe you will go with us and have the same opinion? Uh, yeah, when do you do this? I don't know! <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, that was our interview. Thank you, Federike. And now we know more.